Hey guys, welcome back to Hard Space Shipbreaker. We are here in the yard. We're currently playing in free mode because, um, <laughs> uh, I feel like less of a everything having limits and oxygen supplies. We're gonna do this in two parts today. This is a big, big ship. This is one of the geckos. Uh, it is rather large compared to what we've dealt with previously. But we're gonna have a lot of fun with this one and we first have to depressurize it because this is a big boy and Oh, uh, there we go. We'll start easy, actually, by pulling you off and sending you to the great yeeting beyond. Nice, easy stuff Salvage to pull off. Secured. Credits deposited. No, I can't just pull that off, can I? But I can pull you off. Oh, hello. I forgot how wibbly-wobbly the cameras were in this. But nice and simple. Salvage we need to find secured. a Account credit applied. port. There's a port there. Okay, on top we have an airlock. These are very big ships, so this will take some time normally. Let's get an airlock open. Your lock pressure levels dropping. So we'll activate it, then we'll depressurize it. We could open it again. Your lock pressure levels increasing. Okay, perfect. Pressure levels dropping. Okay, so we just vented the ship there, I think. Okay, so we've got a lot of cargo on board this bad boy as well, which makes our life much, much easier. Um, let's find the actual pressure systems for the ship. This could be it. Air pressure level increasing. No, we didn't want that. We did not want that. We want to drop it down again. It turns those off. Your pressure level decreasing. Oh, no, no. Stay open. Stay open, damn it. Door, behave yourself. Thank you. Open. Open sesame. Thank you. Okay, so is this the front or the back? I'm not sure, but we'll, we'll work it out. Okay, that's that closed. We'll work this out eventually. Okay, so this was... That is a door. That's one of our generators there. Okay. We'll open this. Let's see what's in here. Oh, depressurizing. Level decreasing. This is why you should depressurize everything properly. At the same time. Not in one go. So this is crew bunks. Turn our headlight on. Pressure Whoa, level hello. Yep, there we go. This is our cockpit, so everything is disabled relatively here. So, now we can go outside and we've basically established everything's off. That is our reactor there, so... Get this bad boy open here, watch it depressurize in front of us. Levels dropping. Or not. Okay, and that's one of the other airlocks. So, we're now good. That is us actually depressurized internally we'll flip around we'll drop down here and we'll start by taking out the thruster sections so for this we're going to need our individual cutter head take off the clamps at each side of these thruster heads that will come out nice and easy aim There we go, aiming. Terrible aim. Trying to rush because I've got these other two to move. Come on. You should be real easy to cut off. Okay, so you can go to the processor. Uh, thought you were further away, but you're not. Come on, in you go. Nice and easy. 
There we go. Why did this have to be so far away? Valuable object processed. Okay, we'll just Credit use some uh, jingly doodahs this time by. Come on. Doesn't want to go this way, does it? Okay. So I'll have to get rid of those tethers in a second because they are definitely not going to be helping us anytime soon. Come on, this way. Nice and easy. Go on. Come on, go this way. And yeet. Take your friend with you. Object accepted for there we go. It's taken them both Credit with it. Deposited. So, towards the stern of the ship. It's the first time I actually touched the cargo gecko. The passenger one was a very different design. It had external engines on it as well. We'll slow ourselves down here. We should have the thrusters in the back there, but it should give us access at least to the thruster bay. Okay, will these actually come away? They will not. So we are going to have to cut our way into this section. Shouldn't be the end of the world. Would have preferred to go in from the crew compartment. We're going to try and do that because it makes our life a little easier. Let's get in there. We should be able to strip out most of the internal, externals, I'm sorry, of this vessel. With this one. Okay. Down in here. There we go. So we need to find our way aft here. These are both the airlocks. And we are technically inside the exoskin here of the ship. So this cargo one is much more stripped out than I realize. So we're going to go for this roof panel first. Let's take a look actually at our ship. So that would be T. So that's the engine bay there. There's the reactor. So we are wanting to try and get as many of these yellow bits taken out so we can get them separated. So... What are you? I can't cut you. It looked like I could cut you, but I can't. Basically hold, left click until you hear the buzz. There we go. Don't want to overheat this either. We should be able to open this cargo compartment and get this stuff saved because the shipping crates will be useful to have. So we're looking for the lower compartment sections here. There we go. This panel is se technically separated away, so we might be able to get this to move now. Yes, we did. Excellent. Okay. So you can go the hell in there. Go on. There we go. Go down there. That does... didn't want to leave. Processing Come on, both of you go. Come on, off you go. Off you go. There we go. Good container. Come on. Do I have to encourage you yourself to go down? Yes, I do. That does not want to leave there because of those stanchions. Alright, we can deal with that. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. There we go. Okay, we've got that as free. So we're going to have to look for these other segments here to cut away this section. Yeah, that should be the one we're looking for. I love how they give us the ship for salvage intact, full of all its goodies. Yeah, we, we wanted to get rid of the ship, but we just wanted to, you know, get rid of the ship. We weren't interested in filling the, the, the last job we had or anything. No. No, we'll just, we'll just give you the ship. Not interested in actually completing the cargo assignment. Nah. Too much effort. Yeah, so I was expecting this to be a lot more like the passenger one, which has a fully pressurized internal compartment, making it a lot more difficult, really, to work with. This one actually may be faster, because so much of the actual core part of the ship is made up from these internal segments. There we go. Did I get rid of that? Yes, I did. Now, I don't know what I separated here, but we'll find out when I go boop. Okay, we did get another segment away there. So, you can go Yeetus to collect us. You can go down to the barge. 
I figure you'll be useful. Yep, in you go. Nice and easy. Free money. And the ship is already heavily opened up, actually. Come over here. No, I want you to come over here. Salvage You're going to get yeeted in there. Credits deposited. You apparently can't be trusted to stay in one place, so... Apparently it wants to go in there, so... God damn it. We're losing a bit of actual material, which is unfortunate. But... Ah, so what happens when you cut away at things willy-nilly? Alright, so we need to... We have cut this stack away. Okay. This stack is technically separated, so... Would you care to get off there? Thank you. You too can go down there as well. Make our lives much easier. Nice, there we go. Come on, down you go. In you go. In the hole. Come on. In the hole. That's it. Go on. Ugh, something naughty was in that one. Something I did not want to be part of. Okay, so that is half of our hold is cut away. And we'll focus on these roof panels next because we would like to get rid of some of these. We'll take a quick look at our uh, schematic view. So some of these segments should be relatively cut away. We have got these girder trays to handle first. Or these cable trays. Should be holding these segments together just about. In microgravity, it's enough to hold it together. Okay, that is one of our engine pods. We want to cut this free so it can slide out. Nice and easy. Come on. There we go. One more at this end, I suspect, if I can get to it. I just about can. There we go. Now, I'm not entirely sure what this is I've just cut away. But I know it's something that didn't belong inside. I believe this is for the furnace. No, it's for the barge. It is for the barge, but it didn't want to go in there at first. So, come on. In you go. Okay, that must be an engine pod over there then. Now, we should soon be able to actually take that off. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Okay. So, what else do we need to cut away here? Got these trays up there. Where else do we have cutting segments? Okay, we have this. This will be those roof panels we saw on top. done. Can I reach the upper segment there? Yes, I can. Ah, yeah, okay. Just about finding our cutting angle. Can I reach the other side of this, though? It, I must say, the bigger ships make it much more awkward to work on because they're so much more confined, even though it wouldn't feel like it. Oh, God. No, no, no. Come down here. Come down here. In you go. Going that way. Go on. Yes, get in the pile. Alright, I have to get these things off here at the front as well. Salvage secured. Ah, Account there's external clamps. Applied. I see them. Can I get this to cut away? Okay, that cut off nice and easy. Woo, that cut off really easily. Into processing. Off you go. I made a complete ass and cake party of that piece, whatever it was. I wonder if there's a better way to do it. <laughs> there probably is, to be fair. Uh, we'll go in through the big opening in the side of the ship. Because what else is it for? We should be able to start taking off some of the upper parts here in a moment. 
this section above us is probably the next one. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay, so do we have access to this? This would be just beyond where we are now. I'm wondering which parts are left still attached. We've got an attachment point there, maybe. Now, those pits still don't want to leave each other. Those, I think, do, though. Yes, they do. That's the top hatch. This one also wants to leave, so we'll tell it to go in there as well. Nice and easy. Does that want to come off yet? No, it does not. But that's okay. We can make that work. In you go. Go on. In you go. Behave yourself. Get in. Get in. Thank you. You will find a lot of your time in this game uh, hunting for what's attached to what and how to get rid of it. Okay, those are our clamps for the hatches. A couple more on this side, I suspect. Yeah, there we go. Uh, there should be one more on this end. Unless I already got this one. I think I did. That is the top of our hatch there. We don't need to cut through that yet. But we do need to cut through that. Okay, and... This should come away any time now. Oh, it wants to come away. No, God. Oh, God, what did I do? What did I do? I just yeeted that panel away to outer space. Come on back here, please. Please. I love you, really. Don't go over there. Yep, that's it. That's it. Come on, this way. This way. Thank you. Now it's a string fight between the two halves as uh, one of them decides which one he wants to win. Uh, are you going to behave yourself? Mm, I give up. Almost entirely. Fun you. Never mind. Well, we'll get it next time, I guess. You can get the hell in there. You can also get the hell in there. There goes our main top door panels. And, oh, it came back. Hey, little guy. Go in there. If you can pick your direction of travel, please do. All right, let's cut away this tower section here. That off runs into there. There we go. Nice, and... God damn it, I destroyed something. What else is here to cut? There should be one more. Uh, wibble, 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 wibble. There we go. Okay, that's that cut away. And this should be a barge job. Over here, come on. Fly this way. There we go. Go in there. Now, there has to be a better way of cutting this away that I haven't managed to work out yet. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transferred. Oh, it did work. Nice. It just really overheated my cutter. Hey, we did something right. It feels magical and wonderful. In you go. See, that's much cleaner, isn't it, than this hunker dunker mess over here? I want to clean it up. Just for the principle of cleaning it up. No other reason. Damn it. Thank you. Now it looks less terrible. Still pretty terrible, but less terrible. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh, God. 
I did a bad, 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 I did a bad. Salvage destroyed. Uh, yeah, oh god. Oh god. Uh, we did a bad. We, we did a bad. We did a major bad. That was, that was bad. Did a whoopsie. Hi, little guy. You can go the hell over there. Salvage. <laughs> it was totally intentional. I promise that I detonated the core. I think. Or the fuel lines. Yeah, that was the fuel lines, apparently. As I fly the through the deposited. debris field here. Ah, uh, yeah. We kind of screwed this one up. Um, as we have spinning debris as it's coming out. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we screwed this up. Oh, boy. They're going to be pissed at us today. Um... I just detonated the entire fuel tank system. This is going to take a lot of cleaning up. And explaining to do to the yard foreman as, uh, yeah. We done hoofed up. Ah! That is also considerably one way to clean things up, I guess. In. Go on. I'm using my space broom now. Come on. In you go. 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 Go on. Space broom. Space broom. Space broom. Space broom. Space broom. It's like I meant to do this to make my job easier. Less cutting involved, of course. Raw material process. Credits deposited. Go on. Yep, totally intentional. Meant to do this. Absolutely part of the plan. Yep, part of the plan. Part of the plan. Yep, this was this was this was intentional. Yep, yep, yep. See, look how quickly we're efficiently we're taking the ship apart. This is top level big brain ship disassembly. You don't have to cut through it if you make it explode. Yeah. See? Didn't think of that, did you? Yeah. Huh? Hey, shipbuilders, shipbreakers, if you want to take your ship apart faster, do it with explosives. Don't even have to buy your own. Just let it blow itself up. It's more efficient. Yeah. Smart. The big smarts. Look at this. Oh, man. Ow. Hit myself in the face with that. I should be recycling that, but you know what? We're not recycling today. We're just ship breaking. That's what it told me to do. It just told me to ship break. Yeah. To break it. I broke it. Success. Mission achieved. What we planned to happen. Just faster. Technically, I cheated. We got there quicker. Speed run. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to do a speed run of ship breaker. I'm just going to go through and detonate every engine core and call it good. Yeah. Accepted. In you go. Come on. Big piece of ship. There we go. You could say I did a ship job. I cry inside of that joke because it is truly terrible. And I'm only saying because this is a YouTube video and you guys will sit there cringing. And you know what? Making you guys cringe is actually fun. Why did... Uh... Go the hell in the hole. Come on, go. Raw there we go. Processed. Right, all of you guys can just GTFO. Wee! In you go, in you go, in you go, in you go, in you go. Efficiency masters. Pro hard space ship breakers. Yep. Ow, ow, ow. Been hit by the ship. That's bad, I think. There we go. We're almost at a point where we could actually salvage something again without losing the entire ship. We did lose the engines, all the fuel line systems, which are pretty valuable to recover. Material but deposited. at the end of the day, we had fun. We enjoyed ourselves, did we not? That is the entire purpose of a video game, isn't it, boys and girls? We enjoyed ourselves. Yeah. 
I'm telling myself that to stop myself from feeling stupid. In you go. In you go. The rest of these small bits can just get yeeted this way. You're not small. You're a big boy. In you go. So, at the end of the day, after the general majority of the detritus we just caused has been cleaned up, kind of, after I get this patch here, um, yeah, I'd say generally some of it has been cleaned up. In you go, in you go, in you go, in you go. Look at all of this. My god, I am such a freaking mess maker. In you go. Go on, go on, go on. Clear up. Yeah, we have royally screwed this up. There is no two ways about it. In my haste to cut, we cut the wrong thing. This is why they say Raw measure twice and cut once. That way you don't blow yourself up. They were thinking about this the whole time. They must have been pros at this game. Anyway, back to actual reg regular scheduled programming as... You know what? I'm going to say the majority of the chaos I just caused is now not going to cut my spacesuit. Yeah. I'm not going to clip every single scrap of this because I will be here all day and you don't want to watch me making up for my stupidity simulator, do you? Right. So, back to cutting things. I was just worried then I was about to explode. Don't worry about me. I guess we can call it, uh behavioral learn processes. Now is that panel cut away. This one should now float free. And that is for the processor. Over there please. You too. Eat that in there once it's realized where it wants to go. knows what it wants to do with its life. Okay. So back to the internals of our rapidly disassembled ship. We'll take some of the whole paneling away on this side. Careful to avoid the ouchy cables there. Okay, that's the underbelly cutting away. Nice. That does not want to come off Valuable yet. What does here? Okay, what have we got to cut from this? Ah, here we are. There we go. I really shouldn't cut without looking. I should have learned this uh, this game once or twice before. Apparently not my forte. Let's just burn through things. Where's the fun in, you know, taking it seriously and not exploding in a fiery ball of space death? In you go. In you go. What is over there? Oh, it's that container. Something in that container is no bueno and does not like us. Valuable object okay. Yep, yeah, that cuts away. And that cuts away too. And I think we're rapidly approaching side segment removal here. I believe the backbone of our vessel is still somewhat intact for now. There we go. Okay, that wants to come away. I can go into there. And you guys are still attached by the docking clamps, so we'll cut those free. If they are in fact still there, they are. Nice. Yeet into the space box. In you go two, and you three. 
Faster and loading! So much more efficient. And so did that side of the ship, which now go the wrong way. In you go. Thank you. Hurry up. That's a space Salvage cable. Secured. Credits deposited. Cut through you guys. Offload the rest of his cargo in the most expedient manner possible. Nothing else is stacking those at the top. Come on. Let's go, boy. Come on. It's time to go. In you go. Come on. Don't be shy. In you go. Come on. Both of you. Go on. I'm not waiting around. You can go too. Come on, Stachosaurus Rex. Let's get in the, sh get in the barge. Do it now. Secured. Account credit applied. Oh god, there goes part of the ship. Go on, that way. Large section I didn't plan to cut away. In you go, come on. Yeah, unloaded. Kind of, missed a bit. Come on. So we've got a couple more bits of cable there to pull apart, but otherwise, in general, our gecko is uh, a bit recco. We might be missing an engine bay. But we definitely got the cargo out. So if we were pirates, this would be a good job. Well done. Um, yeah. I say successful ship breaking. For now. In you go. I think we'll wrap this one here. You guys have seen more than enough of me making a humongous mess of this game. Um, we'll be back to finish this thing up and do some more of the actual serious backbone of the ship once I clear up all this crap and get a few more of those surface panels off. So, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed me screwing this up. I know I loved it too. It was definitely the best part of the game. Yeah. <laughs> totally enjoyed it. Love doing this. <laughs> I cry inside. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.